Hey everybody, we're talking clubbing fragrances with heavenly long lasting scent trails. The first one I'm gonna mention is Lamar by Kajal Perfumes. This is a sweet pineapple scent. If you're a fan of Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK, I really think you're gonna like this one. The only real difference between the two of them is the fact that Baccarat goes the sweet cotton candy direction. This goes more in the sweet pineapple direction. But in terms of sweetness, I've said that word like five times already, they are pretty similar in the DNA, okay? But this is a huge crowd pleaser. Oh my gosh, I've gotten a lot of compliments wearing this. I have complimented people that I have tested this on. I tested it on two guys and a girl. It smelled fantastic on everybody, okay? So I know that this fragrance is one that more women seem to gravitate to, but I wouldn't like if you're a guy that's curious about it, I wouldn't put it past you because girls were going crazy over this fragrance on the guys that I sprayed it on. So that's just something there. And not to mention, everything I'm gonna mention in this video is gonna last over eight hours. So you don't have to worry about performance. But this thing, so good. I'm gonna put the links and all the names of the fragrances in the description if you're curious. Next is the Beast Naxos by Sershoff. This is for the people that kind of want a more rebellious yet smooth fragrance. You know, this is a cherry tobacco honey fragrance. And to be honest, I don't even know if cherry is actually listed in the notes, but it smells like that on my skin in the air, even when I smell it from the tip and the atomizer of this fragrance. But I got a comment from somebody that said, another person said that this smells like something a mob boss would wear. And I totally agree. This just has a badass kind of vibe to it. This is also a unisex fragrance. However, I see more men actually gravitate to this fragrance than women, but there have been a lot of girls in my DMs recently saying that they picked this up and they love it and they've just been getting huge, huge compliments. So I really don't think you can miss with this fragrance at all. And it's just gonna be so good in a club setting. Damn, well, let me smell it again. Yeah. Yeah, because even when I spray this on fresh, like for the first two hours, this thing really is projecting and it lingers in the air really, really nicely. But it doesn't get too much. It's not too potent for me to handle. So Naxos by Search Off. But if you really want to talk beast mode, if you really want to talk something that's going to last two days, then I have to mention Rasala by Arabian Oud. This thing is a beast mode fragrance. There's no other way to put it, okay? This scent, I did only one and a half sprays of this fragrance when I was first trying it. And I say this story all the time, but I have to because the fact that I only did one and a half sprays and I was getting complimented nonstop for two days straight, that has never happened to me when I've worn a fragrance. For two days, for this thing to still be projecting and still have an insane scent trail. I never wore anything like it before. So I was definitely impressed with the scent. And it's, oh my God, it's an Oud Saffron Rose Fragrance. Those three notes are very prominent. So if you're not a fan of Rose, if you're not a fan of Oud, be very careful with blind buying this scent, okay? So another thing I would just be cautious about is the fact that this is also a chocolate vanilla fragrance, but those notes, are kind of like second fiddle. You know what I'm saying? They really don't pop off until hours later on your skin or on your clothes. So don't be misled if people are telling you this is a sweet vanilla fragrance because the three notes I mentioned previously, the oud, saffron, and rose, those are the heavy hitters that you're gonna smell from the beginning all the way until the end. But shit, I have never had a fragrance that has lingered in a room for as long as this one did. Maybe besides oud, satin, mood, but I like this one way better an oud satin mood. So this has a little bit of that Middle Eastern twist and this will get everybody's attention. If you're looking for that big head turner that nobody else in the club will be wearing, it's gonna be this fragrance right here, especially here in the West, right? I'm just thinking here in the States because a lot of people are scared to wear Middle Eastern or they don't really know it and it's a bit too intense, but this shit is so crazy. It's so good. Rasala by Arabian Oud. The fourth fragrance I'm gonna recommend is my favorite Killian and it's Angel Share. This smells like cinnamon rolls. And if your body is heating up and this fragrance starts to develop with your skin chemistry, it smells like freshly baked cinnamon rolls. It is so intoxicating, it's so good. 
and the way this wafts in the air there's no other way to put it except heavenly like that word is perfect for this fragrance also unisex scent i don't know if i mentioned everything i've mentioned so far are unisex fragrances specifically that rosala one right there straight down the middle all it takes is you have to be a boss to wear that fragrance that's it doesn't matter your gender but with angel share it is so good on anybody so good on anybody i love smelling this on other people it's not my favorite to wear personally but oh, shit this is compliments galore right here damn every single time i smell this fragrance it's just it takes me back you know what i'm saying so the fifth fragrance i'm going to recommend is another beast probably the most popular from anisio i haven't tried oud for greatness but this one is side effect and it's a rum cinnamon type of fragrance very boozy kind of vibe also straight down the middle unisex this is just so like you to be honest this is a fragrance that i kind of had to grow into because it was a bit too much for me similar to rosala but that one lasts way way longer but with this one when i would wear it sometimes i was like oh man this is getting too intense i want to take off my jacket because it's just always in my like it's always in my nose this thing never leaves once you spray it on but if you're somebody like me try spraying it on your clothes before you wear it like maybe an hour or two and then the way that this dries down is so gorgeous okay you will get compliments with this fragrance and for some reason a lot of people out there most people out there in the real world really like the smell of these sexy boozy fragrances it catches a lot of attention and this one is blended to perfection. So if you're looking for an unforgettable one night stand type of fragrance, it's gonna be Side Effect by Anisio. My sixth fragrance that I'm going to recommend is Intense Cafe by Montal, sweet coffee, rose fragrance, a little bit synthetic, but this thing really does get the job done and more. Also unisex, I do notice that, notice, notice more women seem to gravitate to this one. Oh god, this is like this fragrance whenever I would have a close encounter, I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, I'm hugging somebody and I wear this, those hugs last forever. Last a long long time and people are just deep sniffing my neck whenever I have this fragrance on. So if you're at the club and you're dancing with somebody and it's like really intimate, you know what I'm saying, and you've got this on, it's almost hypnotizing to a point. You know what I'm saying? So Another thing I'll point out is if you're a guy rocking this, I just know you got it going on. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of guys are going to be like, oh no, that might be too feminine, blah, blah, blah. This, you know, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to try to convince you because if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. But Intense Cafe by Montal is a really seductive fragrance. The next one I'm going to mention is the Freshy Man. Sidrat was a by Mancera. This one to me leans more masculine, but it's a sweet, no, not a sweet, it's a fruity fragrance that has a woody base in the dry down. Smells like Jamba Juice in the opening, dries down smelling like wood. But this thing is so good, man. This thing pulls, absolutely. If you're somebody that you don't want to wear a sweet fragrance to the club, but you think that a lot of the freshies people are wearing are like the Dior Sauvage, the Blue de Chanel, Roll in with Cedrat Lose. Okay, this fragrance projects really, really well, first of all. And this scent lasts on me easily over a day. Okay, I've, ne I've heard talks about reformulation and how they're coming out with the new intense, but I can't really speak on that because I don't know that. But I'm telling you that this fragrance, from what I know, from what I've experienced, is a beast. And girls really, really like this. I have never been around a girl that is not complimented this fragrance, okay? Like they just, for some reason, something in the DNA just grips them. And even for me, I think that this is really sexy. So I love wearing it for me, but whenever I'm out there and it's hot outside and I have to drop was a instant compliments from girls. It's just so, so good. And it just, the way that it just, the scent trail of it, God, it's so, so, so good. All right, another one I'm gonna mention, I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to, Layton by Parfums de Marly. Okay, this is probably one of the safest niche choices to pull for if you're looking for an easy to like niche fragrance that a lot of people out there are not wearing. Yes, this is really popular in the fragrance community. 
lots of you have probably heard of this, maybe 99% of you already know this fragrance, but out there, people do not know Leighton. They don't know Parfums de Marly. They only know Dior Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, maybe Le Nuit de Lomme, that kind of stuff, right? But this scent, apple, cardamom, vanilla. It's sweet, but the freshness from the apple makes this a versatile fragrance. And this is just a very easy, approachable fragrance. There's nothing intimidating about this scent. It's not gonna put anybody off. This is another one of those fragrances that I have worn where I get compliments from everybody, specifically women. I, I do know that this is, they say this leans more masculine, right? But when I saw it, they said it was marketed as unisex. So take that as you will. A lot of these niche fragrances, to be honest, just go for unisex anyway, because I mean, why stop anybody from trying to, you know, buy their fragrance or whatever, but Layton is a beast, easily over 12 hours. And the dry down, even better. Okay, if you have somebody in your chest, in your neck, and you're wearing Layton, they will not forget this fragrance, I promise you. And that's, t that's speaking from personal experience, like they will not forget this fragrance. <sighs> yeah. Layton by Parfums de Marley. I'm just really in love with, I've just been smelling all these and I'm just, it's taking me back. All right, how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do two more. Maybe I'll pick on the designer side here. For, oh, for a feminine fragrance, I'm not gonna pick C because that's a well-rounded fragrance. I'm gonna pick Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. That is a sweet honey fragrance. That's pretty much all there is to it. But that thing in the air is such a monster, okay? I always say to girls, if you're looking for a fragrance to wear to the club that you don't want, like you're gonna wear it and you don't wanna pay for drinks, wear that thing. Because when you're walking by everybody, people will offer to pay for your drinks, okay? It's happened, it has happened. It just has that sexiness to it, especially when you're dressed really nice, you look great, it's so good. That thing lasts easily over eight hours. and. Uh, the reason I'm recommending it is because it's probably, yeah, it's the only feminine fragrance I'm recommending from the standard designer size. So you can probably find that much easier than a lot of these niche fragrances. You can find it at like Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, anything like that. But for the masculine fragrance to end us off, Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. Tobacco, vanilla, and there's a spice up top. I thought it was cumin, somebody said it was caraway. Not sure what it is, but all I know is that this fragrance goes crazy, okay? There is something about it that even for me, I find it pleasant, but whenever I wear it around a girl, they just, they love it a billion times more, okay? I can't explain why, but I wear it because I enjoy it, but they enjoy it so much more than I enjoy wearing it, you know what I'm saying? So this is definitely a fragrance that, what I like about it is that it's spicy. You know, there's so many sweet scents out there that are just just like vanilla and maybe another like sweetener or maybe something fresh and then it dries down to sweet. But this is a spicy fragrance right from the jump and then the way that the vanilla comes in to kind of round off the fragrance and make it a bit sweeter in the dry down is really, really perfect. So I have nothing but great things to say about this fragrance. And that's how we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Again, all the links, all the names in the description. All right, bye.